day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the Binding of Isaac, where today we're going to be doing more challenges, because there's still so many challenges for us to try. And I feel like playing pay to play. Just to see what this one is. Who do we play as and what happens? Hmm, interesting. So we have to spend a coin to go through any and every door. Concerning, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the one where if we run out of money, we die. But we do seem to get a good, decent a chunk of money from, you know, every room at least. Oh, hi, Famine! Oh, it's a shame it's impossible to tell which, whether we're in a, uh, what am I call it, where the boss room is then, isn't it? And you're playing by luck. In addition, every time we take damage, we lose coins, just like a greed fight. Well... A cube of meat. I already know that it would be a cube of meat. What I don't know, however, is whether or not, whether or not there is an item room. And I would love to know where the item room is to see if there is an item room. Speed down. Thank you, Pill. Thank you. Well, it does not look like there are item rooms because screw me. Okay then. Well, our choices for stuff are limited then. Ow! Bastard. There's no point in that, because keys are actually bloody useless in this get in this floor. I wonder how we far we have to go. Because we've got money as power right now, so that every coin we gain a point point zero five damage. So it makes sense you'd want to try and make as much money as possible. Even if that involves just blowing up the things that make you money so you can get a soul heart. A bloody crown. I still don't know what that does. Ooh, look. Special chest. It contains a heart and a bomb. Hello, monstro. You giant HP magnet. At least you can drop me a decent item, Monstro. Such as Mother's Underwear. There's better items, but... I seriously have to pay to go into the Devil Room? Really? Uh, at least I can get Fear Shot. Because Fear Shot's decent. It increases our damage, and we have lots to spend. We can go with a lot with it. Uh, you know it'd be really useful? A full map to tell us where everything is so we can use the least amount of coins possible. Because we just wasted about three of them. And after all, the less... The less money we have, the less damage we deal. So obviously, we want a fair amount of money. Goodbye! Thank you for giving me your coin back. It doesn't help me though, because I still need... For Christ's sake. Actually, this isn't so bad because I've got the... The little cube to help me. So that means I just gotta wait for it to spin around, right round. And then when it would otherwise... Yeah, like so. That's the one and only time I've considered that cube useful. Uh, take damage, lose coins. Take, spend coins, lose damage. God damn it! Gold chests, the only purpose for... Well, hello there! Okay, first up... No. I mean, I know I just unlocked that coin using the the last episode, in the last episode, but there's no point to giving it to me straight away. Right, this is a... Oh! 
You know what? Sure. Drop me coins. I have penny tears. Drop coins. You have officially no excuse not to be giving me coins. See? A coin. I have an item which literally... I got penny tears in a run where you're forced to have money is power. So logically, give me my power by giving me my coins. Temperance. What's this one do? Ah. Patched up. Forgot about that. If only to bleed again. Uh, I'm gonna die horribly. Oh, thank God. God, I hate you, Gurney. Lucky saucer. Does that not give me more chance to spawn coins? Yeah, I'm fine with that. The chariot. May nothing stand before you. May nothing stand before me indeed. Ooh, hello. Look, spawn more things. And I have more chance to just make more coins and thus give me more damage. Yes, just like that. Oh, screw this character. Little poo, little fatty, can you already die? I mean, I know, yes, you're a HP magna, just like Monstro, but... There's no reason you can't just die for me. I just need more max health to be happy. Because... Months because Penny Tears is like one of the best things available to me in this sort of run. So, yeah. What's in the arcade? Stuff. Thank you! Ooh, more luck up! Excellent! That means even more money! Can I just get Greed's Gullet next? Please? I mean, if you're already gonna give me crap like Penny Tears and... What am I call it? We might as well go for the full route. Oh, gee, thank you. Alright, what we got in here? Gurdy? Good Gurdy Schmilly! No one likes Gurdy. When is this joke? When's that joke of mine gonna die? Goodbye, Gurdy. Ooh, a heart! Thank you, Gurdy. That's very nice of you. Do I need to go up there? No, I don't need to go up there. Because the only things left I could possibly get for me might be a shop. And... Considering coins are already my source of damage, I don't need more. Oh, for Christ's sake. That was... Oh, that's too much! Alright. There's three more hearts. And there's one. There's four more hearts. One last heart. There it goes. Excellent. Excellent. What do tell do we have in an item room? Range down. Such missteps are the Yay. And not the mood. Oh, for Christ's sake. Pull. Oh, bloody Stop jumping around. No one likes you. Stop it! I hate these things! I got half a heart left! I got a heart left! Okay, spawn. No. Bloody mimic chests. Give me hearts! That'll do! Thank you, you actually listened. Oh, you're still listening. I've never had the game listen to me so much. I need more pennies. 
Because pennies are my damage. Because pennies are my damage. And also my lifeline for getting out of these places. I'm a very lucky boy right now, aren't I? At least that's what you're saying I am. Phew! Another coin, more coins, another heart, more luck. A shop containing a greed, which will hopefully just drop a lot more money. Or I can drop that. I mean, that works too. That just means I can get more items. I mean, he dropped a heart, which he took off, which is nice. And his room was full of coins in the first place. So I got loads of coins, which means I got a fair amount of damage. And another heart for me. Excellent. And now I can just... Destroy them all. There has never been a better use for the, for the chariot. Okay. This is my last floor for items. And there's a mimic chest again. What the heck is that? Safety cap. Don't swallow it. I don't think I want to. Hmm. Probably worth it, honestly. Especially for a boss as pathetic as this. Or should I say, as farm-inducing as this. Considering he produces so much minions for me to be able to hit for, for, for money. Oh, but this guy's a little different. Well, I got another chest, which contains a pill, which is friends till the end. Okay, I'm fine with that. Huh. Here's a thought. If I place a bomb there. Yeah! I've learned how to make- to cross these gaps. No scamming me out of my chest. I get my coin. And my tower. Why do I want that? Ooh, thank you little enemies. Oh, for Christ's sake. And uh, now my damage is at maximum. At the maximum, it, it's maximum capability. For now. Well. Okay then. You know what else? I could go eat the mimic chest, but then I lose my devil deal. Do I want the devil deal with how little health I have? Alright, you do literally nothing giving me time to go get my ghost. Or whatever the hell it is. Ah, it's one of those. I need to not pick up coins if I have full coins. Because then I've got coins left over for when I finish the room. Okay, item room, what you got for me? Everything is half price. Including a soul heart and a ladder. Excellent, now what? Compost! That can work. I really shouldn't be trying to build more items, but... Or get more items, I feel I should say. But I'm mostly searching for soul hearts, like that one. And with that, I'm happy for now. Mostly because I can't stand listening to the screaming. I need a room full of things that aren't... I'm an idiot. Well, now I wonder whether this is the end of the, the challenge, or whether there's still... Oh. Well, that's just unfair. Gotcha, mother. Finally gotcha. Alright, devil. All you got for me is a coin. I'm fine with that. Because I'm not sacrificing any goddamn health. Okay, then. Clearly, I have to destroy It Lives. Which is not the easiest thing to need to destroy. Luckily, I have those things, which works out quite nice. It just killed itself. 
You've given me the best item one could ever ask for with this in the form of in the form of penny tears. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that. Make some spiders. Let's double those spiders. Okay. Oh, of course it would kill itself there. Okay. Interesting. This is actually a fairly easy room. Or trap. See? I don't know why I'm picking things up. I should be leaving them. Leaving them for my spiders. And there's a bunch of coins. And... There's a scaredy heart. Perfect room for a scaredy heart, thank you. Don't worry, it will become spiders. Spiders. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. I don't even know how to avoid the... The spikes on the floor that generate from that. But thank you for the magic mushroom. That's made things better. Magic mushroom. God save ya. Because magic mushroom isn't special because of the fact it increases your damage, which it does. It's special because of the fact it increases your damage scaling. Interesting. They're all spiders now. There's a, there's a lot of hearts in here. I'm not prepared to use a compost in here. And that's also a lot of money, which gives me a lot of damage. And I still don't know what these are. Well, what they are is producing things that aren't particularly nice. All right, room of... Room of stuff. You're becoming spiders for the army. As we now go and fight mother's... It lives. Ooh, okay. I'm also extremely happy I can go back and gather those hearts I left behind. Because I have no health left after that. It lives is always an awkward one. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what makes the rainbow hearts. I don't know what allows me to use the rainbow hearts. I just know I'm very grateful for them when I can. Okay, cathedral. Teleport. Teleport to me. I want my friend. Teleport. Oh, especially if it's one of those. Fuck's sake! What the fuck was that?! Come on! Bullcrap! I love how this game could just never give me any fucking heart canisters. It just had an issue with giving me hearts. You should not be chewing for that long! You chew for eight second, not five! God, this game infuriates me with its inconsistencies. Like, just pick what one thing does. Don't change it on the fly. How else is the player meant to learn? Flip a coin. I mean, that's actually a pretty decent item. Basically, every room I can flip a coin. So, not only do I have a coin bag, I have a... To give me coins, I also have a... I also have a nickel, which I can roll. 
to try and get some coins. Yes! Dear Christ, yes! Okay! In here is a money room. Filled with things we can blow up for coins. Because frankly, we need some more coins. On a general basis, we should technically, thanks to this nickel, make a profit on coins, no matter what. Assuming, not including the factor of getting hit, losing the fact the game can just say no a thousand times, which is my luck, so. I don't know how the, what am I call it works. The coin bag, and what the percentage chance of that is, and whether it's luck based. It might be entirely luck based. Well, here's a boss. It's a monstro. Well, that's a pretty fun boss. Pretty good boss. Monster is easy. And of course, when I, the moment I say that, the very next attack hurts me. Goodbye, monstro! Ooh, thank you for the meat. The Abyss, infinite holding potential. Uh, no, no coin. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I just got meat, which gave me some damage. And I can trade that meat for more damage. So, yeah, okay. I shouldn't, but... Uh, whatever. I'll risk it. For the biscuit. A bomb bag. Well, I got a coin bag and I got a bomb bag. Is there any other kind of bag? In addition, right now, I think I always want challenge rooms. Because of the penny. That I have. Because every round gives me another chance for a coin. Come on, spawn over here. I hate this little thing. It is the worst enemy in the game because it doesn't sit still. If it could just sit still, it wouldn't be as bad. Sometimes these rooms are just nice and simple. And have no threat to them whatsoever. Such as this one. Because these enemies really like to go horizontal rather than vertical. Meaning it's just a matter of shoot to kill. And remember how I said on average my coinage should go up? Yeah, apparently I should reword that to my coinage should stay at least neutral. So, same value. Unless that happens, in which I get, I all stand corrected. Right, what do we have in here? A, what am I call it? This, and a broken watch. I'm good with that. The additional fun thing about the broken watch is that with it, I can at least see where enemies are if they're under the ground when we've slowed the game. Samson's lock. I don't remember what that does, and I just realized it doesn't matter because of the fact I've got the callus, which is an infinitely way every better. In every way, infinitely better. Really? Oh good, it died. And it dropped me PJs! Game's f beginning to feel nice. Probably now because I can't just scam it with infinite damage. It really makes you... The game really has a way of telling if you've got infinite health, it, uh, infinite damage. It's not going to let you have all the health, it doesn't it? Wow, thanks for the dime. That's very nice. I like this penny. This nickel. It can drop me, it can drop me things it shouldn't. A lot more frequently than this room bag, at least. Oh, for Christ's sake! Remove these fucking worthless things. This is a good room to get slowed. It really is. Oh, the wretch! Hello, wretched. Um, could you not just infinitely summon spiders? And 
is your worst ability. Especially the big spiders. Stop hitting me! Oh, my PJs are beginning to go to waste, I see. What's this do? More damage, less shot speed. I don't like the less shot speed, but I'll take the more health. Hey, if this is slowed, I'm just going to wait until he does a laser beam. Laser beam's the only thing I need to worry about if he's slowed. Come on, Krampus. Time to die. Goodbye, Krampus. Ooh, thank you, Krampus, for the, for the battery. A lump of coal. Well. Honestly, if looking at this map, I'd say here is the secret room. It is not, huh? Okay. Wait, there's another one it could be. No? Really? There we go. And inside is a bunch of money! I'm glad I came back. I mean, as I can enter the room free of charge, I might as well try. Although I'm not going to go and actively seek out the the shop. Although I feel I should. Although I do know in the end it'll probably just lead to less money. Which I kind of need to live. I can't tell if this sounds... Abel, mirrored buddy. I'm sure you exist, Abel. I've never seen you be useful, though. Well, there we go. That was easy. Okay. I one-shot those things. It's amazing. I wonder. Yes! The moon. May you find what you've lost. What's the other one? Ace of clubs. Yeah, I'd prefer the moon. And I can enter here, free of charge. And without penalty, too. Because I can exit free of charge as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Screw you, eat me room. Right. I'm actually very high on money right now. So in theory... You can go fuck yourself, because that should hurt you! I don't care if you're invincible at the time! Fishtail. Oh, my log too! Oh, that's nice. Um, how the fuck am I meant to avoid that, by the way? You know, them just deciding to spray up damage from where you are. Oh. If ever there was a room that really did not need to be fast, fast forwarded. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course I find greed. And of course he drops a lovely little dime. Well, okay, greed. I'll forgive you this time. Well, I found my item shop, which I was looking for. I guess now it's time for me to go fight a boss. And pray that it's not one that's too cruel. Well. I wouldn't exactly call it cruel, but... I can tell you I'm going to get trash from it. Yep. Absolute trash. I mean... The ball of bandages and the Pacuba meat has its use, but not really much of one. What I really need is a... Oh, look, a shop. Or a secret room, I should say. Just giving me infinite batteries to try that infinitely. And there's a room full of keys. And it's not letting me inside there. Well. Another magnificent room of 
The g broken compass is definitely one of those rules. One of those items you have to always take. Yes, it's a risky item, but more often than not, it's just worth it. Ooh. Tech. So, I have a, an electric field around me now. That's nice. Actually, I just realized. It's denying me entrance into here. Screw it. I get entrance. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Now it can tell me what's inside each of these things. Such as keys. Bombs. No item. That would be nice. I mean, they're golden chests. They can drop items after all. Or hearts. Hearts are also an option. I really need something to increase my attack speed right now, though. That's my biggest issue. What do we have in here? Ah! Mega Greed! He dropped 25 cents. Hmm. Did I ever shop this floor? Don't think I have had a shop this floor. What's this do? 24 hour energy. Not bad. Amnesia. Confusion. Fucking yes. Christ. And panic. I think the next room is Mum. And I still don't think I've had a shop, so... Oh, wait. I did have a shop. No. No, I didn't. Wait, yes, I did. It was one of the greeds, wasn't it? I got regular greed. Now I had ultra greed. So yes, I did have a shop. Christ. Alright, mother. Goodbye, mother. It was, I suppose, nice knowing you. And hello, Mr. Devil. Despite what you may think, no, I don't want that item. Because I don't have enough health to justify it. As useful as wings are, they're not that useful. <laughs> that literally didn't even damage me when it was touching me. What is it meant to do? Alright, well. Here's a boss. Thank you for actually being one of the easier bosses. Because all this one is, is time to consume it. Because you just need to wait for him to expose his tail. Come on, pal, expose your tail! Did I express my gratitude for you giving me Skolex, by the way? I do like Skolex as a boss. Well, no, I don't actually. I think he's very bad. He's very basically designed, but I'm very grateful for being for fighting him in this okay situation, especially if you then give me some money in exchange as well. Mother's knife and gasoline. Nope, still not worth. Excuse me while I go get myself the five pence I left behind. And while I'm here, let's check. There we are. Is that... I like it. I like it a lot. I love the secret room of that floor. What do we got in here? A bed! I can't use the bed. But I can use the key beggar. That's a lot of coins, so thank you. Ooh, hmm. I don't need that. Especially... Got another one for two? Thank you. How about another one? Nope. Oh, yes.
Eh. I think that was pretty good. Now, if you excuse me. Leave I nothing two more. I somehow have the suspicion that I'm going to lose my black hearts relatively soon. So, yeah, I'll take the... the path back home. Pills, pills, let's get the pills, let's see what the hell they are. Health down, fuck you. I hate you so much, I do. Give me a good item. Thanks? I ask and I receive. I mean, I don't know about Bob's brain, but infamy certainly is. Bye, Loki. Come and play again next time. Well... I have lost all my special hearts. And there is a... I think this is a perfect room, which I would want slowed, considering the crap inside of it. Well, I've lost all my temporary hearts, so... I mean, that got me a coin, so why not? Mother, 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 where art thou mother? You know, generally, this game really is kind with wit with which rooms get sped up and which ones are slowed down, typically. Come on, there's only so many places that mother can be. So to tell, ooh, chest. Why did I just use a bomb to get a bomb? Right, we're at the boss and we do have effectively full lives. And there are plenty of hearts scattered around the place for otherwise. The main thing we have to worry about... ...is generally the fact of what she summons. Because she could summon some really cruel stuff. Which doesn't matter all that much with the broken compass. God bless the broken compass. You stupid things can't reach me, mother. Not that they ever need to, because you just died. Without any effort. Now, excuse me while I go get the five pence again. Okay, Ange Cathedral, I have returned, and I am all prepared for anything you have to offer. Apart from you cheating by physically hitting me with an offensive bomb. I would like more, I'd like some items. A coin was not generally what I wanted. And I'm now blind at the bottom half of my screen. Can I just quit a moment and... Nope, that did not fix the interface glitch. Infamy, the item you use in order to always just face the enemy. So Mora's cursed me, I see. Okay. I didn't realize that was a trap room. Because, you know, I couldn't see the trap or anything. That was a very... What the hell is it doing there? Okay. I might... Need some health after that. Ghosts are way too bloody tanky. Thank you! Oh my god, I love these little... 
rainbow hearts whenever they want to work. An eternity heart. Well, that's bonus. That's an extra hit at the very least. Alright, come on, Greed. Or Fatty. I really don't like this fight. This is a room I would have liked slow. Okay, there is one of them left. The Mora interface is still screwing with me. Heart, thank you. Thank you so much. I think I've been forgetting to use the coins as well. I should go back and grab the coins that I've left. Right. Where could they be? Possible secret room right there. Nope. Have to be aware of secret rooms as well. If we can get a chest, we will. Because chests can drop us hearts, yes. This is the secret room. Christ. I still don't know what that does. Of course you give me bullcrap just before the final... Fuck this boss! But you give me a heart just before the end too. Okay, you're partly forgiven. Ooh, and what's that? Okay, you're entirely forgiven. Right. The fucker is slowed. <laughs> Come at me, Isaac. You're nice and slow. If I lose this, I have no re- I should quit this game. Because I should never lose a fight which is slow. Frankly, I'm on the, the opinion I should never get hit in a fight that slowed. But this guy is a boss that uses the light beam attack, which is very hard to avoid at times. Ha ha! I win! I win! Ha ha! Oh, that would have been perfect. Give me five pence right at the end then. Whoop! Whoop! Yes, 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 yes! Ha 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 ha! Two new pills have appeared. Oh, goody. More ways to screw me over. Well, everyone, I think this is a good place to end today's episode. So what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell. Good day, and finally, good night.